Okay, so I'm going to be installing Reflectix onto my windows. I left one window off for you to view, but I've done all of them, including the front windscreen. And I've developed a pretty good system, so let me get started with showing you how that works. Okay, to start, this is the Reflectix roll that I bought. It was at Home Depot, and they're about $25, you can see that I got the 24 inch wide by 20 feet, 25 feet long. That wasn't enough to do the windshield. And the windshield is actually 36 inches. You need a wider. Um, because of the way it works, you would get an 18 inch roll and tape it to make it work. And I actually did that there um, to make it work. Um, the 24 inch didn't leave me enough to to tape them together so I just bought some more alright so to start off with what you're doing is you measure your window and I'm gonna be doing the the sliding window and you just make it the width of the widest dimension let me pause here and I'll position it so here we are inside and you can see what I've done is I've put some duct tape against the window. Now if you have tinting on the inside that is done by an owner that's plastic, that might affect your tinting. So, But if it's from the factory, it isn't plastic on the inside, it's glass, so the duct tape is fine. It'll also come off fine on the Reflectix as well. So let me, um, what we're going to do is just we're just going to push this in place and stick it and then we'll be able to trace around the sides. So let me do that. Okay, so I've pushed it up against the tape, and because the top edge, and this doesn't happen on all your windows, was straight, I was able to push it up and actually use that for my straight edge. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take something better than my finger, and I'm going to crease it. In this here area, I'm actually gonna give it a relief cut bear with me to do this relief cut one-handed. Need it at the corner there. Okay. So uh, now let's crease it. Now this corner here actually has a little plastic -y thingy. So I'm going to remember that and when after I get my crease in, I'm going to um, let me back up a little bit. I'm going to um, cut it a little bit further out. So now I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to mark that. While you could cut with just the crease, it's going to be hard because once you unfold that, that crease, you see how crinkly it is? It's going to be hard for you to see that. So now I'm just going to take my Sharpie and mark it. Don't worry, a Sharpie is removable. As much as they say permanent marker, uh, the uh, uh, the remover for Sharpie is rubbing alcohol. Okay, so it's all cut. You can see how much of the Sharpie line I've left. Here, where it's going to go underneath a little bit of plastic, so I don't need. I can cut it a little bit bigger. And then here we have that eighth of an inch. Now the top edge was pushed under as well. Um, let's clean this off and let me show you how easily Sharpie comes off. So no one says in the <laughs> comments that they would rather not see that black line but um, I'm a carpet cleaner by trade and we use we know all these solvents for for spots that get on people's upholstery and stuff like that and for Sharpie it's rubbing alcohol. Okay now let me just show you how it goes in place. Show you what that looks like. Basically you're you just push it in place and then you just kind of rub your finger along and it kind of just goes into some molding gap and then you end up with uh, basically a nice installation perfectly light proof um, I did the windshield as well as the driver's windows and I also have the back hatch done but if I shut that one it's going to be completely dark in here what I wanted to show you was just how dark it is inside of the van. Um, when you're inside, I think you can see a little bit 
of light going through the quilting. There you go. Um, but you really, compared to outside, the light, it, it's very dark. Let's actually back up so the camera doesn't adapt. See how nice and dark it is in there? Um, you, it'll allow you to sleep late into the morning <laughs> and maybe uh, make it so that you're not the first one up. You know, the first one up has to cook breakfast. Isn't that the rule? <laughs> and my son and I, we were heavy into Boy Scouts when he was younger. And Boy Scouts philosophy is a lot of work <laughs> before you get to have fun. So it's hike and then have fun. It's prepare your campsite, then have fun. Be nice to just go someplace, sleep late, and and fish. <laughs> you know, that's that's my idea of what I want to do now. Um, maybe not hike a million miles. And uh, so we'll try it this way. We'll see how much we like it. I guess there's both are good. But uh, for me, well, the reflectix on the window was a great idea. And I'm glad somewhere someone figured that out, that it stays up on its own. And uh, we don't have to do anything else but cut it to fit. So I hope you like my video. I'm trying to get my subscribers up in order to, I have to have a thousand subscribers before uh, uh, YouTube starts paying me. I would appreciate getting some money for these. So give me a subscriber. I'd really appreciate it as well as a like. Thank you. Bye-bye.